my very first time being tested is when I found out I was positive. Mm -hmm. um, instantly, the guy who was testing me, he asked, in the middle of the test, he said, so what would you do if your test come back positive? In my head, it's, you're not saying what if. It's, oh, you're positive. What's your next move? Coming from the religious background, you know, you're white as snow, you know, you're, you're, oh my God, like you're, you're precious, like you're nothing, nothing will touch you or whatever. That kind of had me in the mentality of, um, that I was, that I was now tainted. And so that kind of, that also was another thing that really broke me down was like, I felt, I felt really, really dirty. I let my par my parents down. I'm not gonna dance and dance anymore because I love dancing. I'm not gonna get out there and dance. I think it'd probably be better if I'm not here. I've been comfortable since I've gotten clean because it talks about it in our first step, like where we be come honest. So I had to be honest with not only self because to thine own self be true, but I get to be honest with the world as well. Like everybody gets to see me, <laughs> regardless if you feel me or not, you get to see me. Like some of these people in Atlanta say, I have arrived. I am here now, see me. My life means something to somebody. Like that's how I really feel. Like I have to stop and think like, dang, here I am feeling helpless and hopeless and down on myself and I feel like my life isn't worth anything. But to the next person, like to somebody else, I mean that much to somebody. Like, it makes me feel great. It makes me feel, I'm talking about, it makes me feel wonderful. It makes me feel like I'm on top of the world. Like I actually mean something. Like my little old life means something to somebody else. It's a, it's a real good feeling. <laughs> mm -hmm.